it, but President Biden and the First Lady will be in Florida this week. They'll tour areas ravaged by the storm. Yeah, in the hardest hit areas, rescue crews are still going door to door and combing through rubble to try and find victims and survivors. NBC's Chris Pallone is joining us live from Fort Myers with the very latest. Chris, good morning. Yeah, Maureen, Dave, good morning to you. The number of confirmed dead by NBC News sits at 87, both between here and the Carolinas. But the news on the power outage front is improving. 600,000 people without power here in Florida, down from about 2.6 million over the weekend. Across this weekend, throughout the strike zone, people waited in long lines to get food, gas, and supplies as they try to piece their lives back together. Hello? Five days after Ian struck and the search for survivors in Florida is still underway. Search teams have rescued more than 2,000 people so far. For the man overseeing the effort, it's personal. First priority remains search and rescue and helping those in need. These aren't strangers to us. We live and work in these communities. In some areas, they're using cadaver dogs to find those who didn't make it. The scope of the destruction, stunning. Not just confined to the coast. Inland flooding, a major problem for communities near the state's swollen rivers. I think from what I've seen in the state, I think most of the damage has been from water rather than wind. 50,000 electrical workers are making progress restoring power, bringing a half million homes back online in 24 hours. In Lee County, officials say it's all hands on deck to make things as normal as possible as soon as they can. Our county commissioners, county manager, that everyone is out in full force trying to get back power to the residents, making sure they have water, making sure they have food and the basic essentials to get through every single day. And it's not just Florida. While they were dealt a much weaker blow from Ian, people in the Carolinas spent the weekend cleaning up too. We probably cleaned up 25 times in our lifetime, but this is, other than Hugo, this was the worst for us. The long road to recovery now underway. And the FEMA director has said that this search and rescue operation that's going on here in Florida is the largest that the agency has ever conducted. Maureen, back to you. And Chris, we hear there is some good news coming out of one of the barrier islands. Can you tell us about that? Yeah, Pine Island is a fishing community that's an island that's connected by one roadway. That road was severely damaged, but Florida Governor Ron DeSantis said that he wants the State Department of Transportation to repair that road or get a temporary road in place so residents can drive to their homes or what's left of them by this weekend. 